at Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power, the Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this, Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defenses, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. Reader is he set, on ready. Come on, mid-bay, frackers. Yahweh shit. What need it be on dot? Yeah, yeah. So is it hit? We can build it that for that. Oh, there. Oh, big way. You'll then do that. 
While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. What needeth be undone? Yeah, are ready to done some work, yeah. What needeth be undone? You'll then do that ring, see thee to work, yeah. You go have a that, he will see thee to work, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did the wind, did? Shh. Think I'll build it that for that. Yeah, that's Hestus. It's real. Are it, uh, what needeth work? Over there. On me way. Delving to do. Good. Hestus and Old Bowman. Yeah, it's on the side. Dress of Astyria. Brass they are, way then. Hestus and Old. Up Nan Ferret, our way then. Up Nan Ferret, our way then. What is this worker? Quite absurd, Chet. Dress at way, man. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. Building done, it looketh good. Hest is an old bowman. Hest is cometh, our women. Yeah, Hestas. I'll sweet, sir. Yes. I'll sweet, sir. Yes. 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 Hestes cometh, our way men. Bail sleepily, on the stick do not. Have I me but here, Hestes. It's in shed, come nails! Here, Hestes! Willikin's band of archers made short work of the French reinforcements. But if they hoped to ease the burden on Dover's garrison, Willikin's ambush force could not relent. Hestes and on, Bowerman. And sweep them, yes, sir. No! Obey our way, Yahweh, to assail him, Suez Gap. Brave they are, way men. 
On the stairs. Step and two hit our women. Kiera Hestas. Sewer they had. Boa in the boom. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Hestas comes. Nuthan. Cometh on. Fuse Tolkien. Glidande ne hurt us, no, never down. What day this be on dot? Bed and day so we hit. Yeah, for me, I bought. Tit Windler, that ass. Hestes and on, boy, man. Bolliende Hester's new. Fuck you. Freckus Harkin. Bolliende Hester's new. War observer Jatter. Sue of the head. What will come? That will be done. Aristandes. Here the Hester's. Where is the lender? Gentlemen coming with cash.
better men young. See over there. On midway. I think they list her. Nickel building that for them. Not sleeping. Hestes cometh, our way man. Dresseth thou, our way man. I'll squeeze them. Yes. What need is better than they sweat? You'll then need that great to know. Entangled and they never hurt us, no, never a doubt. It can they do. Only both are sparrows. No Hester's at all, Tulkes. Who stay Tulkes? Hester's. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. Spider-Man Young. Frank is Harkin, New Hestus. New Than, come upon. On the Botas, better. What needeth be undone? Over there, on midway. See thee to work, eh? Yeah, yeah. Sweet they hate it. shall have it that. Freckers, intendeth no. Freck sewers they had. No, that. Come upon. Fully end their hesters. Ick do not. Intended practice. Each smart. 
hipsters come at the end of the hipsters do. Al Suiza, yes. On the photos, Ferran. Boa is the boom. Here, Hestas. I. It can do. Farita, what name this one? Yeah, yeah. Tito ended. Obasis is Are ready to don some work. Ferende, so ahead. He go have a he build an anon. Who's they talk us? Hestas. Folly and the Hestas. Harry and the Hestas, do. It can't be do. And they never hurt us, no one near her down. Is Arne Atun? Yare to don some worker. Uh -huh. Now, Fende is men leaf. The Shulu do Arita. What soon here in they thin hester? Flock in they would, swole head. What needed? I think they list. Dress at your Arway man. It's oh, and then head to serve. Shuffle <laughs> attack of open thin armors. Hestes cometh.
Experiment young. It is Caesar's fortress, but me no more. Willikin's archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. The English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Stand in the yard. See to work. Eh? That building will be reparailed enough. Be off yard to haste, is too folk. Fu seriende hestes nu. Intendeth freckers. Foliende hestes. Sua de heta. I'll sweep them, yes. Each yeah. on the stone down. to work eh? all stage door. Who's it to serve? Think you'll build it that for thy Wow, of set sewer they had. Freck as it can they do. Then 
The RA to done some work here. He could do that, no. He could land gain on the ripper railings, no. Fuse Tolkas, Hestes. Harry and Hestes, no. The ripper railings. Who said Tolkas? Sewers they had. Ick do not. And ten death frackers. Boy, I'll sweet them. Yes. Yeah, they can for end they knew. Spoilers bend that way, Ben! <laughs> What over there? What me way? Every charm and ten death. Yeah. Harkeneth all up. Aye. Ah! Obeisance. I am too. Hester Glidande ne'er hurteth no one near her down. An hour of the year. What need us be undone? All stayed done. It's a worker. Seat of Surtas. <laughs> Obeisance is Ani Athu. <laughs> Boon for they are. Let it read in, Stacharen. Yeah. No, Tulkis, set it young. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks 
ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.